Hey everybody, this is my 40 gallon purple spotted gudgeon tank and if you look closely you will notice I've got a 2x4 sitting across the top of the tank. Now the reason that's there is because about 4 or 5 days ago I removed a whole bunch of Ludwigia that had grown up and was all swirled around the tank and what it wound up doing was creating this sort of matrix or lattice work that was holding up the temple plant here, or hygrophila, swamp weed, whatever you want to call it. And so I had to prop this 2x4 up to actually hold it up. And I was hoping that after it stood there for a few days, it would kind of support itself. And apparently it has. So we can remove this 2x4. And I still think I need to put something in there to prop that up because I suspect by tomorrow morning that is going to be lying completely over on its side like that. And if you're not familiar with what that looks like, you can check out my office tank uh, because that's got a whole mess of this stuff growing every old which way and it's a mess. So I don't want that to happen to this tank. I want it to grow up and out and look like a nice little bush-like plant coming out of my tank. So I've got an idea um, into the simple solutions to simple problems and this is a pretty simple problem. All I've got to do is prop a plant up. So I'm going to get on with that and I actually just noticed all of these right here are uh, little flower heads developing so pretty soon we're gonna have some nice little dainty purple flowers all over this plant so I'm gonna do something really simple and it is going to solve all our problems with the hygrophila there so give me a minute and I'll show you what I did all right what I did was simply take a plant stake and used a little bit of black duct tape wrapped it around the stake and then taped it to the front of the tank so barely noticeable and in addition to physically propping it up so it can't fall this way I've also got a little twisty tie in there holding it against the wire so it can't fall to the right either nor can it go forwards or backwards so the only one I've got to worry about now is this one which is actually sort of down here and it's not really rooted in uh, per se, but it is sort of a branchy uh, piece that comes out. You can just about make it out through the swirling water in there. You can see all those roots hanging off of it. So I may cut that off and just add that to my plants for sale collection because I always do sell all the stuff I've got extra. Now keep in mind I can't promise you you won't get a little duckweed mixed in with your plants. I do my best to keep that out of there, but again no guarantee that there won't be any duckweed in there. Um, check out my email down below if you're interested or whatever so I'm thinking about cutting this plant out or you know this this branch basically it's all coming out of this main central plant here but the flow now that I've topped the water back off in fact I did a water change since I was over here messing around with it I changed out the filter and did I don't know maybe a 10% 15% water change nothing major but I got the water level back up and of course when we have the water down a couple inches you get the sort of waterfall effect and it doesn't really have an impact on this but when we have the water flowing out it really hits this pretty hard and it was all the way over here and it's kind of had to sort of push it over this way to keep it upright and even then it's kind of being held up by being held against this one so this might actually just get trimmed out of there and what that will leave me with is that one big central uh, plant but that's getting pretty close to the light I do have a little bit of room that I can uh, move that up higher those plant spikes are pretty handy they come in uh, handy for a lot of different things if you've got one that's exactly the right length and that's how I've got my light suspended I have one of those plant stakes that's literally just tucked in there if you twist it sideways it'll just drop right out of my drop ceiling and then I've got a twisty tie holding the cord to just hold a you know socket with a floodlight in it over my tank like I said, I'm into the pretty simple solutions. I don't need anything expensive or elaborate. All I need is a light hanging over my tank. And as I've mentioned before in other videos, the quality of this light is just amazing. It's a Cree LED. And while it is a floodlight meant for the outdoors, well, I guess it's meant for whatever you want to use it for, uh, it does have a color rendering index of 90 plus, And that means it's uh, more than 90% 
equivalent to what you would see visually by looking at natural sunlight. Uh, so in order to achieve that, you have to have a pretty broad spectrum. And of course, it gives you not only that beautiful visual appeal, but the plants absolutely love these Cree LEDs. I've got them on uh, several of my tanks. Uh, three of them have a single one over it, like this tank. And then my big tank here actually has six of them hanging over it and that's all that same exact light and it really does a great job at lighting the tank up so there you go everybody i'll leave you with the final look at my 125 gallon new world tank again that was meant to be a simple quick video about simple solutions to simple problems so thanks for watching that one don't forget that one was my purple spotted gudgeon tank and this one here is my 125 gallon new world tank so thanks again i'll see you real soon in the next one